Hello! Welcome to Crazy Diner, another video for Crazy Diner. Um, if you had seen, I just uploaded the Diner Town challenge mode. Every single challenge mode from that area is up on my channel if you want to go look at it. I will have chapters. I ran out of breath. <laughs> In the description so you can hop around do whatever you need to but this video is going to be all about the food gotcha machine because I don't know I just I want to show y'all all of the figurines that you win and what you win I went over it already in different videos but I just felt like it would be better to have it in one video so this is obviously your food gotcha machine I have a thousand tickets. I accumulated that literally just now after filming the challenge modes video. So you get a million tickets <laughs> if you go through every single one. And this actually isn't even all that you can win because I lost or I failed at a few of those attempts. So if you fail, obviously you don't get tickets. You don't get rewarded for failing. But so to start, we are going to see this is the gotcha pool info. These are the rare figurines you win, the normal figurines you win, and then the other things that you win. So you can't win coins from this machine, but you can win diamonds. Someone had asked me, so just so I can go over real quick, you want to make sure you have stacked your coins as well as your diamonds. I wouldn't say one is more important than the other, but... Let's say you run out of coins, but you still have a lot of diamonds and you need to do upgrades. Well, well, let's do something I can pronounce. Okay, so the onion slices. Say it was not three stars and we needed to buy the upgrade. I don't have enough coins because you have to pay X amount of coins, X amount of diamonds. Well, I don't have enough coins. They say, hey, that's okay. We're going to take all the coins that you do have plus extra diamonds to make up for the difference. Okay, I've done that numerous times and it's fine. But if you run out of diamonds and all you have is coins, there's no way for you to upgrade anything because they won't let you pay extra coins when you have no diamonds. They want the diamonds. <laughs> They're diamond. So... I guess in a way, diamonds, you need to make sure you stack up as well because they are super important. And then, of course, if you're going through the levels and you fail and you don't have the right boosters that you need to keep going in that same attempt, you can just pay with diamonds to keep going. And then it's instead of starting over. Does that make sense? I've showed you what I mean in my other videos, like 915-3. I'm playing it, I fail. They say, for 120 diamonds, we'll give you 30 more seconds. Or three more people, or whatever it is. I'm like, okay, take my diamonds, take my money. Now, these diamonds that I have, yes, I accumulated a lot of them from the food gotcha machine, but I also purchased them. I purchased them to make the videos go by faster so I can film for you guys so I can get the videos out really fast so anyway let's see what we win I just wanted to go through my tickets with you also <laughs> so this is a french fry so that's one thing let's take that look duplicate figurines converted into shards aka puzzle pieces so when you get duplicate items it accumulates in your puzzle bank and let's say I was missing this wine. I did not have it. I could purchase it with my puzzle pieces versus waiting to see if I got it in the machine. So that's what your puzzle pieces are for, if you didn't know for some reason. But I really just like doing this because I like to stack up my boosters and my diamonds because I really need them for the challenge modes. They're so hard and... Once I do get every single challenge mode maxed out, I'm going to go over all the ornaments that you win when you max them out. So that's also going to be a separate video. I still have a lot to go. 
a lot. <laughs> See? Like, the, for me, the majority of the things that I win is diamonds, so... I think it's definitely worth it. And then, because I've been playing it every single day, um, I accumulate a crap ton of diamonds. And then I also do the five ads where you get free diamonds. I already did that, in case you didn't know that what I'm talking about. It's over on the right hand where it says free, the little TV. Yeah. I do those every day also. I mean, there's plenty of ways for you to get diamonds without having to purchase them. Like I said, I just do it because I have a lot to do and I need to do it fast. <laughs> so I go through my diamonds like fast as crap sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on these. Sometimes they're good about giving me boosters. Not today, apparently. It's just all diamonds. <laughs> I'm just sitting here manifesting diamonds. and <laughs> I really like the, the look of this, though. And how you can see the balls being tossed around. It's so cute. I love it. And we just have a couple, few more attempts. Oh, there's one. Those are good. Those are good too. Those hearts. They're an extra life. So if you mess up during your attempt on whatever level, like it says, don't burn any food. And then you burn some food. You can use that heart to keep going. It's an extra life. <laughs> okay diamonds and that's it and then see bam it was at 29.54 and now it's at 30.79 that's a little over 100 diamonds ah, I don't know why I keep going there anyways so now we're going to oh and then at the start of every day you get a free a free ticket so it'll say start it'll have the ticket icon but instead of 50 it'll say free so at least once a day you get a free turn. So, anyways, that doesn't matter. These are all your figurines that you win. And whenever you get them all, you do get special items. They're up in the corner up there, you can see them. I have all of these. Oh, let's go through them. <laughs> is this, so this is fast food. Fried chicken bucket. Crispy skin, juicy meat, and special sauce, and yum, chicken legs, wings, breast, all in one mega bucket. Sausage combo. Various sausages with salad and fresh bread offer rich protein, vitamins, and carbs. Definitely a healthy dinner. Deluxe taco. A traditional snack from Mexico, now very popular all over USA. Hey, would you like some too? And then cheeseburger, yummy bread, juicy meat pie, and tangy cheese. All in a simple yet tasty cheeseburger, which brings a lively day. Hot dog. Tasty hot sausage on a piece of bread dressed with special sauce, born in German, now popular on Chicago streets. Fried egg sandwich. Simple, great breakfast choice. Fried eggs, your favorite side dish, and tasty coffee all make the morning better. Wave fries that look straight. <laughs> Unlike their peers, wave fries are thicker and richer. They've won faithful followers since birth. Pizza. Born in Italy, it has beaten aerial and linguistic barriers, abundant in recipes, sometimes even beyond your imagination. Fried onion rings. Popular around USA and Canada, a main course, a side dish, and even a great snack with beers when watching ball games. I love fried onions, to be honest. I eat them with ranch and ketchup. Sometimes I mix them together. <laughs> roasted drumsticks. Tender, juicy roasted drumsticks and delicious fries make an appetizing, rich, and full of energy lunch. Fried hot dog combo. Hot dogs with crispy golden husks served with waffle fries make hungry people linger in front of the stall. Lemon Coke. The summer heat is dispersed by sizzling coke, clicking ice cubes, and fresh mint, 
What can be more enjoyable? Nothing. And that's it for our fast food. And then next, oh, so when you get all of those, those figurines, you win this ornament here. Oh, this guy is blocking it. <laughs> but it's this cute little ice cream stand. So freaking cute. Like, ah, just love it. And then this is afternoon tea, so crepe. Crepe is originated in the northwest of France. Sweet crepes are filled with a variety of fruits and cream and topped with chocolate sauce or syrup. Chocolate cake. A favorite for chocolate lovers, chocolate favored, flavored sponge cake is covered in chocolate glaze and fresh strawberries to whet your appetite and get you hooked. Love chocolate cake. Strawberry cream cake. Ugh, I love strawberry cake too. <laughs> I love every cake except German chocolate cake. I don't do the texture of coconut. I can't do it. Anyway, sorry. <clears throat> strawberry cream cake. The simple yet delicious strawberry cream cake made of oven fresh sponge with fresh strawberries and whipped cream is perfect for afternoon tea. Bet it is. Banana waffle. Waffle is originated in Belgium. Crispy waffles with fresh banana and rich chocolate sauce make your afternoon tea more delicious. Strawberry donut. Donut that hails from the Netherlands has earned its place in the United States. Many would eat it for breakfast. Strawberry donuts are the most popular. Tiramisu. One of the famous Italian desserts, tiramisu combines slightly bitter coffee with rich cocoa to give you the lingering sweetness. Churros. Churros sprinkled with icing sugar and served with a cup of hot chocolate bring you leisure and peace in the afternoon sun. I love churros too, yeah. Cannoli. Cannoli from Sicily filled with sweetened cream and fresh fruits in its crust offers you the exotism of Sicily. <laughs> I'm losing it. <clears throat> ice cream in a cone. Sweet ice cream in a crispy cone topped with chocolate sauce and fresh fruits is one of the best desserts in a hot summer. Cupcake. I love cupcakes. <laughs> topped with cream and fresh fruits, the classic cupcake has irresistible charm for its cute look and yummy taste. Orange juice. A cup of freshly squeezed orange juice can provide plenty of vitamin C. What's more appetizing than this? Oh, sorry. Ice cream bread. Oven fresh soft bread with sweet ice cream kept inside is a marvelous combination of ice and fire, offering stunning and great taste. So there's the afternoon tea figurines. And then with that, you win this beautiful piano and pianist. really is a gorgeous piano anyways and then this is the last one they have for us they haven't put any more on there that we can win unfortunately because I really like collecting the little figures but if they do then I will just add that to a separate video or I may redo this video I'll decide at that time but anyways this is your luxurious cuisine and French snails Fresh snails with minced garlic and butter will capture every customer's heart with their wonderful texture and amazing taste. I have not tried snails, and I don't know if I would. <laughs> Grilled lobster. Fresh ingredients cooked in the simplest way <laughs> to preserve the freshness and <laughs> tenderness of shrimps. No one would reject such a delicacy from the sea. Lady, I'm almost done. Hold on. Churrasco. Churrasco is a popular cuisine in South America made by grilling meat pieces pierced by iron skewers over charcoal fire. It is exquisitely tender and flavorful. 5A Steak Carefully selected 5A steaks with precise timing of grilling and slight seasoning make this dish extremely tender and juicy. Seafood Chowder A bowl of fresh and unspeakably tasty puree that mixes the essence of various seafoods such as prawns, squids, and shellfish. Caviar pancakes. Together with foie, foie gras foie, fo mm -hmm. and truffle, caviar is one of the three western delicacies. 
sandwiched in thin pancakes, it would stir your tongue with wonder. Steamed sea crabs. Crabs from the deep sea steamed in the simplest way and seasoned with secret sauce, providing a lingering aftertaste. Spanish ham. This whole raw ham is the most delicious specialty of Spain and the quintessence of their cuisine. More than a year of air drying gives it an extremely delicious taste. Dang, that's a long time. Roasted crabs. Well-chosen crabs that are grilled over burning charcoal to keep the freshness and then dressed with the chef's secret sauce. Every bite seemingly brings you back to the deep ocean. Nope, that's too scary for me. <laughs> ham and cheese platter. Tasty Spanish ham with Italian cheese. An excellent appetizer to prepare the guest for more incoming delicacies. Vermouth. Refined wine brewed with a variety of seasonings that can be used for mixing drinks or cocktails or cooking. Top-notch wine. Selected wine delicately brewed from the top winery of France that smells intoxicating and wins the favor of millions. And then with that one, you win this adorable hot air balloon. It says Toast Club. I always get the hiccups when I'm doing these videos. Can't stand me. Anyways, it's super cute. It kind of wiggles around. And then that's it. Since you can't purchase any other figurines, obviously your, buzz your puzzle pieces just stay there. I guess in the event they add more categories, which I really hope you do, developers. So yeah, that's all this video is. Just a quick short video to go over the food gotcha machine, give you my opinions on it. It really got me thinking whenever that person asked me which I thought was more important, the gems or the coins. And I guess now I've changed my answer to gems because you can still upgrade and keep playing if you have gems. You cannot if you don't have gems. Well, you can keep playing, you just can't upgrade. So you'll probably keep failing because you can't upgrade your items, so you can't get more coins for them. And some of those, they're like, this level you need 1,500 coins. And if your food is lame and on one star, it's probably not going to make it. <laughs> but anyways, stack both your coins and your gems. Use this to stack your gems. I don't want y'all going and purchasing them probably better things you could do with your money if you do that's on you not me but thank you so much for watching this short video I am going to be uploading the next video for the mango sticky rice yes I see that it's been upgraded and it's open I just wanted to create these two videos first so you'll probably see my challenge modes video come out and then this one and then mango sticky rice <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all those wonderful things. It means so much to me and I really appreciate it. You have no idea. And your comments. I love all your comments. They really make me feel good about myself. Like, wow, these people are like really interacting with my videos. I'm glad someone likes them besides me. <laughs> Anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.